Greetings, fellow travelers. On previous visits to Disney's Animal Kingdom, we have trekked through the Oasis and the Discovery Island trails. Today, we will finish our look at the Discovery Island, taking in the rich theming and the stories behind the restaurants and shops. This is Disney detail at its finest, and hopefully this video will inspire you to slow down and take a deeper look at the details found in Disney's Animal Kingdom. There is no better place to start our adventure than at the Nomad Lounge. Here we are invited to give in to our desire to explore and travel. Banners hang in the center of the lounge, posing different questions about traveling the world and the thrill of discovery. Decorative tags are provided to jot your answers down, and these tags will eventually find their way up to the chandelier. The menu here is comprised of small plates, two recommendations, the bread service and the smoked short ribs. If you find yourself in need of a pick-me-up, then a Mustang coffee is a must. Just across the bridge from the oasis, we find ourselves in a colorful bazaar, reminiscent of the architecture that one would find in Bali. Island Mercantile stands on the left side of the path and is a relatively large shop that specializes in Animal Kingdom themed merchandise. This first room is themed to animals that migrate, which includes fish, whales, wildebeest, and geese. This next area showcases hardworking animals like beavers. This becomes evident by the gnarled log supports found throughout. We'll also find a touch of imagineering humor scattered throughout with insects having propellers. Beast of Burden are the theme of this area. Industrious creatures that work in groups like bees and ants can be found here. If you're keeping score of hidden Mickeys, this beehive should be on your radar. There are at least three of them located here. Stylized elephants working to hold up the rafters are the highlights of the final room to the island mercantile. Across the way, we will find the Discovery Island Trading Company, previously known as Disney Outfitters. This building reopened in 2016 under the new name. Outside the building, we will find some beautiful tile work, paintings, and carvings. Stepping inside, in the first room we find a zodiac or constellation theme. And the theming of the central part of this shop is around the compass points, with the four corners of that being the four points of direction. The animals around each point are the animals you would find in that area of the world. And adjacent to the Discovery Trading Company is the Riverside Depot, decorated with animal carvings as well as murals and paintings. Together, these two stores are one of the largest on Disney property. Next up is the Flame Tree Barbecue, a counter service spot. The theming here is Predator and Prey. Each of the pavilions will reveal this theme in a cartoonish fashion and become obvious once noticed. Like here at the Waterside Pavilion, where we will find crocs snacking on fish. Even the chairs and tables continue the Predator Prey theme. In this pavilion, anteaters can be found using their sticky tongues to catch ants. Here we have eels on the hunt for crabs. This pavilion demonstrates that with the exception of those at the top of the food chain, all creatures can be both predator and prey. Here we will find snakes in control as they pursue mice and Al sit watching on lampposts outside. 
In this pavilion, we find owls hungrily surveying a colony of rabbits. This can be seen on the building's support post and roof. On wind sacks, we see a rabbit scurrying into its hollow as an owl swoops in for the catch. Even the lamp posts feature owls and bunnies. Here we have spiders searching for butterflies. And one pavilion that I could not get to film was eagles searching for snakes. On the path to Asia, we will walk by the feeding ground, the Smiling Crocodile, Eight Spoon Cafe, and the Adventures Outpost. When open, this is the place to meet Mickey and Minnie. Inside is full of pictures and mementos from their travels. Pizza Fari is another quick service restaurant that is uniquely themed. And as we are all well aware of, there are many kinds of animals out there. For instance, those that walk on legs, slither, fly, hunt at night, hunt during the day, and those that eat other animals, plants, etc. In the case of the theming of this building, we will find rooms dedicated to nocturnal animals, animals that carry their homes, camouflage, and the upside down room. There is at least one hidden Mickey in each of these rooms. On the pathway to Africa, we will find Terra Treats and Creature Comforts. Creature Comforts is the Starbucks location of this park. Tiffin celebrates the bold spirit of global discovery as well as the Imagineers and animal experts who built Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. The theme of travel can be seen and felt everywhere you look. After passing through the rustic front door, we find a map of the globe. Past this are three elegant dining rooms honoring the spirit of Africa, Asia, and some of the world's most exotic animals. Artwork, which includes photograph collages, sculptures, paintings, are all inspired by actual notes and filled sketches of the Imagineers who created Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. Here we get it, banana beer, grilled octopus, bread service, and sweet corn soup. Everything in Tiffin's is exotic. Even the name of the restaurant Tiffin's calls back to exotic distant lands. The name refers to the light lunch meal prepared for working men in India and the tiered containers the meals were served in. I hope you enjoyed this look into the often overlooked details at Discovery Island and Disney's Animal Kingdom. Thanks for joining me. This is Brad, and I will see you where our adventures take us next. Until next time, safe travels, everyone.